Okay, we're finally going to move away from stuff that really, really overlaps with 1610 into stuff that really is starting to get us to think about physiology. Unfortunately, I can't get there any quickly, any more quickly because people vary so much in how much they remember from 1610. So um, hopefully we've set the stage and now you guys can start to apply this stuff. So what I want to talk about now is... Um, putting all of this cell transport stuff that we've talked about into the context of the human body. And for right now, what I want to do is I want to imagine how a good phys student would know how I absorb several different um, types of solutes at the intestine into the bloodstream. So it's a big picture understanding and we're gonna go through it together. So first off, um, most of you guys have had anatomy. For those of you who haven't, that's why this stuff is in the before you begin section. So um, we are going to be talking about epithelial transport, getting things across epithelial membranes. And specifically, I wanna concentrate on the small intestine where of course most of your absorption is done. <clears throat> so first, what is an epithelial membrane? An epithelial membrane is, of course, um, a membrane that is um, forming coverings and linings and, of course, forms the inner and outer surfaces of the body. And so epithelial tissues are found, skin, mucous membranes, digestive tract, urogenital tract. We're going to focus on, of course, the digestive tract because this is where you're going to do most of your absorption. So um, when I want to get a substance, for instance, um, into the digestive tract, um, from the lumen of the digestive tract into my bloodstream, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to move it from the lumen, one, to across the apical surface, two, into the ICF of the epithelial tissue, three, and then I'm gonna have to move it across the basal or basolateral surface, then across the interstitial fluid, and then across the capillary epithelium, right? And then into the bloodstream, okay? So um, what we are going to do is we're gonna use all the stuff that we've been learning to predict how you are going to do all of these transports. And primarily, the, the places you're gonna to have to worry about the type of transport are here, oops, sorry, here, here. And generally speaking, the capillaries um, behind the intestine are usually pretty porous. So they're fenestrated, they got holes in them. So you don't have to worry too much about getting them um, into the bloodstream if you get them to right next to the bloodstream. Okay. So um, we are going to be talking about epithelial, epithelial, epithelial sorry, absorption of solutes and water at the intestine. Of course, you eat and drink things that will get broken down to particles that are small enough that you can absorb. And we talked about that in the metabolism chapter. But remember, the mechanism of absorption is going to use the rules that you've been trying to um, really absorb um, we're gonna do the cheapest, fastest way that we can get something in, okay? So you can do diffusion. That's gonna be super cheap. Simple diffusion if you can. If not, add a channel. Then if that doesn't work, maybe you'll use facilitated diffusion. And then primary, secondary active transport, we won't do endo and exocytosis here. So let's talk about the things that we are going to transport. So let's say you ate a bag of Cheetos. And of course, there's boatloads of sodium in a bag of Cheetos. And you think, well, I don't want to absorb it. But you learned, of course, um, that you do need sodium. You need a high concentration of sodium in your extracellular fluid. Probably not a bag of Cheetos amount of sodium, but you definitely do need sodium in your extracellular fluid and even some sodium in, in your intracellular fluid. So how do you get it in? Okay, so let's talk about this. And again, here what I'm looking for is not memorization, figuring it out. So let's talk about some things, not that one, this one. Okay, so how do I get sodium from 